Dwell in. I'm at uh, Bosch Connected World 2019 and I am joined by Thomas Croft. Now Thomas is the head of corporate research for Bosch Global. Thomas, great to see you. Hi there. So it's great to be on this uh, exciting event, isn't it? Isn't it great? Thank you so yeah. much for making time yeah, to catch absolutely. up with me. Well, firstly, congratulations on an exciting event and thanks for having us here. Absolutely. It seems to be year on year, this thing just almost doubles in size. A lot more partners, a lot more great content. And obviously this year the big focus is on Internet of Things or IoT. Yep. I've got a couple of topics that I want to talk about uh, that I've heard on uh, the floor, particularly from your group, specifically the whole topic of where artificial intelligence and machine learning is being used in automated driving, which is a big topic. Uh, and then uh, some of your focus on special uh, activities around uh, the Bosch Center for AI, and particularly the collaborations you're working on. And then I'd love to get you to do a little bit of crystal ball gazing for me as to where are we going to be in the next 12 to 18 months. In other words, after this event and everything's wrapped up, uh, what are you and your team going to be working on? So let's just start uh, firstly, maybe just a quick intro to yourself and your role to start with. Okay, so my name is Thomas Kropf. Uh, I'm head of corporate research uh, at Bosch Global, uh, and then also uh, heading the, the Bosch Center for Artificial Intelligence, uh, which is our centralized efforts to, effort to bring artificial intelligence into all domains at Bosch, uh, and also all products. So automated driving, big topic. I'm specifically interested in your point of view with regard to artificial intelligence, more importantly, machine learning and where that's uh, applied. What can you tell us about what you're working on now around AI, and particularly ML? Yeah, so uh, AI in uh, automated driving is a huge thing and it's a key technology to make everything happen. Uh, what's fast and important is that we really can trust what's going on. So there are some people with whom may have concern, therefore one of the big research topics which we are doing at uh, Bosch Corporate Research is to work on safe, explainable and robust AI. So what does it mean? Safe, it, I think, speaks for itself. So if you're driving a route in a self-driving car, you want to be safe. You always want to be sure that the people, uh, the, the car doesn't kill you and everything goes along the right lines. Robust means even if the weather is bad, something strange is happening, a non-trivial traffic situation, the car still behaves in a reliable, robust way. And explainable, this is especially uh, important for getting trust. The more you understand what the AI is doing and why it's coming to a certain decision, the more you can trust it. Therefore, these three topics are the main research topics which lead to results which directly go into our serious development with regard to automated driving. Automated driving is a, a favorite for me because in Australia we have kangaroos and they are almost impossible to create mathematical models for. Uh, we've actually just had an exciting project recently where someone drove a train across the country and that's a big coal train. Uh, so we're, we're a big fan of this and also we've got such a big country that we, uh, we want to make them safer. So you've done a lot of work around this whole topic of your Bosch Center for AI. Uh, I'd love to learn more about what you're doing with collaboration because I know you've had some exciting collaborations. I mean on the floor here there's a lot of partners, a lot of people doing integration, collaboration, development, etc. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, the whole area of your uh, Bosch Center for AI and particularly the collaborations you're working on? Yeah. So the, the Bosch Center for Artificial Intelligence is really a, an effort where we joined all forces into one center because we dis decided and, and discovered you cannot do it like with two people in every division. You right. really have to join forces. So therefore we have created this joint center with uh, more than 200 people and uh, within wow. this uh, Bosch Center for Artificial Intelligence we have about 1,000 people at Bosch already working with AI in a certain way. Uh, and, and we want to quadruple that to 4,000 people in the next three wow. years until 2021. Uh, but the, the nucleus is the this Bosch Center for Artificial Intelligence, where we really have the bright guys, the experts from all over the world. So we have locations not only in Germany, in Renningen, but also in, in the US, in Silicon Valley, in, uh, in Pittsburgh, in, in Bangalore. I uh, also have people in, in, in Japan and China working on that. It's really a joint global effort. And we, we are getting in uh, the, really the brightest, brightest scientists and we have very intense collaboration with the leading universities. And this is like at the moment also the main focus of, of uh, our collaboration, to get an inflow, inflow of the bright guys. Yeah. It's a very scarce resource, you know. Um, yeah, the ultimate unicorns, aren't they? Yeah. Everything from data scientists to uh, artificial intelligence uh, cable programmers. Exactly. So well, this uh, attracting uh, good talent is, is, is really key for us. And then we are very success, successful because our motto is uh, uh, Bosch invented for life. So we, we don't uh, optimize you know, your buying experience or want to mine your privacy data. So we want to make products which enhance your life, which save resources, which save lives. 
Right. And and there are many people who say this is more important for me than the let's say the ultimate salary. Right. They they want to to work with the purpose. And then those guys and these are the guys uh, and gals we, we, which we want to have. And we get them. And we have very intense collaboration with universities. We don't buy the professors out of the universities. <laughs> Some people do that. It, it's yeah. not a good. It's, it's like burn burn soil because yeah, you're yeah. leaving an empty space in the academic landscape. We don't do that. So we keep the people at the university. We have people at the Bosch Center of Artificial Intelligence, and we work together. At the moment, primarily internally to optimize our products, but also to optimize our production flow. So we are having tremendous success in in like uh, reducing strap rate. Uh, reducing uh, test effort and making our products much more affordable because we are, we are getting rid of unnecessary steps and AI is tremendously successful. We also do strange things like sales prognosis <laughs> where we are beating our best sales guys. Okay. Uh, and and, and this is really magic. That gets exciting. Uh, and, and, and pretty exciting also. It's not, not only technology and, and like physical engineer yeah, yeah. product, it's also like in in uh, real business uh, challenges, real, real business in yeah, sales, and yeah. in, 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 uh, yeah, any kind of financial and um, circumstances yeah. where we are also working. Well, it's exciting here that you've got such a global uh, footprint as far as the human resource goes because I think one of the biggest challenges we face with all of this is, is bias, and, and not in a negative sense, but there's a big difference between driving in India and China and the 54 nations and territories of Africa than, say, around Europe or the UK or Australia and the US. And those biases and those local knowledge bases have to be bought. You know, it's very difficult to learn about how to drive in Australia if you're in Germany, if you've never been there. Yeah. So I mean, I'm keen to get some insight in kind of where we're going. I mean, this is an exciting event. And again, congratulations on a great 2019 yeah, Bosch Connected World. Yeah. Once everything quiets down here, the box is all packed up, everyone's gone home. Next 12 to 18 months, where are you going? What are you going to be focusing on? What are the big topics? And more importantly, what should be on the, the, the agenda items for all the boardrooms around the world? Because I mean, this is such a big impact, a big transformation. What should people be thinking about? What should they be taking home? Um, and specifically, what should they be doing at the board level to, to drive that across the organizations globally? So I, I think you can see here, um, I, IoT is everywhere, um, and, and this is one of our main challenges for the next uh, couple of months and years, to make uh, all products IoT enabled. Uh, the next thing is to make them, let's say, um, more aware of the, about the surrounding, that they learn things. And what we also we didn't talk about that is that they make business which is other based like uh, with uh, digital ledger technologies, right. which is a big part of here. Uh, and, uh, an exciting challenge in Bosch corporate research is bringing together like the classical world with physical models, with yeah. domain knowledge from the past hundred years, right. and AI. And, and this is something where we really have breakthroughs at the moment, where we use not only either AI or traditional engineering, but combining both, like having your math, 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 mathematical models of uh, electric motors, but optimizing them with AIs and bringing right. those old school, traditional engineering disciplines together with new AI. It's 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 crazy what you can find out. So to, yeah, we're to, to, totally excited about the results. And this goes everywhere, whether it's uh, in electrical engineering, in uh, computational material science, where we create new materials based on AI uh, without testing them before. So we yeah. create new materials on the computer, and then we make them, and they behave exactly that, like we predicted it. And so this is crazy times. And That's the great thing about maths and science, isn't yeah. it? That uh, one plus one will always equal two, yeah. and even and if you do it in space. I I exactly, and, and space is another keyword because uh, <laughs> First, my, my, one of the main messages, don't throw away classical electrical engineering and right, physics. Right. It still remains and we need it. Yep. And complement and in, enrich it with the AI. Going to space, I have to say, we go to the International Space Station this summer. Uh, right. We have a cooperation uh, with a startup where we are bringing a, a, a box which is called SoundSea to the International Space Station. Which just does sound monitoring based on AI, by the way. Wow! Uh, to monitor the like the, the life-preserving system on the space station, okay. and whether somebody tries to drill a hole into the hull, yep. uh, which makes noise. Um, and and so we want to make um, uh, increase the safety on the space station based on uh, sound processing uh, with machine learning. That's a great it's, idea because you you cool. know you know the sound that air makes when it's rushing through a small hole. Yeah, exactly. And these days people are using satellites for target practice up there, which yeah. creates a lot of space. And then, and then there's another use case which for me was very surprising. We are also uh, doing health monitoring of the 
treadmill right. in the space station because it's safety critical. Is it, if the treadmill breaks, the, the astronauts have to return to Earth after a week because if right. they don't exercise, they degrade. And, uh, and exactly, health. exactly. So very new and surprising things. And it, we are doing wow. this together with our research officers in the US and the startup there. And it's uh, so we're flying to the moon, uh, to to the space. So that's to great. The stars and beyond. Well, we're all made of stardust, so that's yeah. exciting. Well, Thomas, you've got some amazing, exciting things to be working on, and it's a good thing you've got broad shoulders for that job yeah, to, to carry on. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're very excited to see this amazing event here this year. Thank you so much for making time to catch up with Absolutely. me. I Absolutely. really appreciate your insights, and uh, we look forward to the next uh, 12 to 18 months and beyond with what you and your team yeah. are going to do. Absolutely, and let's meet here in Dave's space in 12 months from now. I cannot wait. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Folks, we're going to wrap up there. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.